Hi, my name is Itzigan Baruch, Technical Marketing Manager at GitLab. I'm frequently asked if it's possible to integrate between Azure DevOps repos and GitLab CI/CD. So the answer for that is yes, it's possible. In this video, I will walk you through that. This is my repository in Azure DevOps. Now, I will clone it to GitLab. So I, I'm clicking here, and uh, this is the clone URL. I just click here to copy it to my clipboard. And if uh, this repository was uh, private, I could uh, generate uh, credentials, username and password that I, can, uh, that I can use. This is GitLab, and I will uh, create a new project. I'm selecting the CI CD for external repo and the repo by URL and I can paste the URL and the username and password are optional. In my case, my repository is public, so I don't need to use username and password. I will give it a, a name and I will set visibility level to public. Create project now. It's mirror the project from Azure DevOps to GitLab. It's going very fast, and if you notice this link, mirrored from uh, Azure DevOps, that means that uh, now any branch commit and tags that I push to Azure DevOps will be automatically uh, mirrored via pull command to GitLab. The next step, I will set up CI CD in GitLab. So any push to Azure DevOps will trigger CI CD pipeline in GitLab. So there are two ways to make it. One way is the easiest one. I will go to CI CD settings and I will enable the auto DevOps. One checkbox, save changes. My GitLab CI CD is now enabled. For each commit that I will push to Azure DevOps repos, GitLab CI CD pipeline will be triggered. Auto DevOps configure your CI CD based on out of the box pre-configured CI CD templates. In some cases, you will want to use your customized CI CD settings. What you need is uh, to create a file in the repository. The name of the file is .gitlab CI YAML. This is the GitLab CI CD configuration file based on YAML. And this is how it looks like. It has uh, all of the stages. You can uh, include also uh, YAML templates. And here are all of the jobs that we want to run. So because I have it uh, in the root directory of this repository, I'm all set and now I can just uh, start the development. So I will show you a quick example. I will open Visual Studio Code, and this is my source code. I'll I will start with create a new branch. Branch five. And now I will make a change. I will just add here a message. Powered by GitLab. I will save this change and commit it. Add a text. This is my commit message. And I will push it to the server. Now I will go back to uh, my server. And I can see this commit. I should see it immediately branch number five and this is what I added. So this change now should be reflected in GitLab. So I'm going to GitLab window and I will go to the branches and I will look for the branch and I see it's not there yet. I can always manually um, sync it. So I will go to the repository settings and mirror repository if I go down, you see uh, it's automatically created for me the, this pool, and I will just click the update now. And if I go back to my commits, I 
I can see now branch number five and the text and I see this icon means the pipeline is running. I can open uh, the pipeline from here or I can go open it from here and this represent my pipeline graph as I defined in the, my GitLab CI CD YAML. I have a few stages, build, test, review, dust, performance and cleanup. The build uh, succeed and uh, now if I open the container registry, I can see a new folder for my branch. I can click on it and I see the images that it created for my source code. I go back to the pipeline and I see that uh, it started the, the test stage and it will run a few tests, security scans, license scanning. From here you can uh, access each uh, job and see what's happening. And uh, on the right side you can see details about the job. You can cancel job, you can uh, retry job if a job failed. You don't have to restart the entire pipeline. You can just fix something and uh, restart a specific uh, job. Jobs view presents all of the jobs in a list view instead of the graph. And in this uh, view, you can see some more details about uh, each job. If tests are uh, defined in this uh, CI-CD pipeline, you will see the test status uh, here in this view. The security tab lists all of the vulnerabilities that the scans found. We have a few types here, container scanning, DAST, dependency scanning, and SAST. And for each vulnerability, you can click and get more details. So once the pipeline uh, is finished and uh, you are satisfied with the test results, you can go back to your uh, code and create a pull request. And you ask to merge branch 5 into master. And I will create this merge request here, starting the review process. If reviewers are defined, they can uh, add their comments here. And once it, it is approved, we can complete this uh, pull request and merge the code to master. Complete merge. Once it is merged, this will trigger additional pipeline in GitLab. The new pipeline will run now on the master branch. I will open the pipelines and soon we will see a new pipeline starting and uh, the pipeline will be different because this pipeline will be not only continuous integration pipeline, it will be CI CD pipeline. New pipeline started and if I go here the pipeline now is running on master and uh, this is the commit message which is merged and if I open this pipeline I will see a little bit different graph, so I have the build and test, but also we have a new stages, which is CD stages. We deploy to dev environment, we deploy to test environment, and deploy to staging environment for management and everyone else. And once we got all of the approvals, we have a manual job here that uh, someone will need to go here and manually trigger the production deployment. And once we will trigger that, this code will go to our production. This is the end of the demo. We integrated Azure repos with GitLab CI CD. This integration enables development teams to continue manage their code in Azure repos and use GitLab for build, test and deploy the application. Thanks for watching.